Hi, this tutorial is the second in the Spinal Pathways series, and in this video we are going to be discussing the dorsal column medial lemniscus pathway. I'll begin by clarifying that the dorsal column is sometimes called the posterior column. As such, this pathway is sometimes called the posterior column medial lemniscus pathway. As we saw in the last video, the dorsal column which is the cuneate and gracile fasciculi collectively, conveys fine touch and proprioception. Very quickly, there are four nerve endings which may sense fine touch, and these begin the pathway. They are Meissner's corpuscles, Pacinian corpuscles, Ruffini endings, and Merkel endings. Now let's talk about the pathway. We'll start with two nerve endings, which may have any one of those receptors we just spoke about. One in the upper limb and one in the lower limb. The cell bodies for these neurons sit in the dorsal root ganglion, just outside the spinal cord. We call these neurons pseudounipolar neurons, because they have an axon that runs in two directions. This is in contrast with a standard unipolar neuron, that has a cell body and just one axon protruding from it. Anyway, these neurons project from the body to the spinal cord. Here is a cross section of the spinal cord, and here we have our cuneate and gracile fasciculi. Again, this is known as the dorsal column. The axon from the lower limb travels up through the gracile fasciculus and the axon from the upper limb ascends via the cuneate fasciculus. Obviously, these two axons would enter the spinal cord at different levels, the lower limb more caudally, and the upper limb more rostrally. But I've shown them here in the same segment for simplicity. From the spinal cord, the pathway ascends through the brainstem. So here is the brainstem plus the thalamus, which is not considered part of the brainstem. So we have the thalamus, the midbrain, the pons, and the medulla oblongata. In the medulla, there are two nuclei, which are the targets for the dorsal column. A nucleus is a discrete collection of cell bodies within the central nervous system. These two are named the cuneate nucleus and the gracile nucleus. And the cuneate fasciculus and the gracile fasciculus project to each respectively. The axons of the neurons in the nuclei then continue ascending. First they cross over to the other side of the brainstem. This is known as a decussation. Here the tract is known as the internal arcuate fibres, because in a cross section they arc across the brainstem. Then finally, through the rest of the brainstem, these fibres are known as the medial lemniscus. Finally, they synapse onto a nucleus in the thalamus, known as the ventral posterolateral nucleus, which in turn sends projections to the postcentral gyrus in the cortex. The postcentral gyrus is the primary sensory area of the brain. So in total, there are three neurons in this pathway. The first is in the dorsal root ganglion. The second is in the cuneate or gracile nucleus. And the third is in the ventral posterolateral nucleus of the thalamus. And that concludes this tutorial on the dorsal column medial lemniscus pathway. In the next tutorial, we'll have a look at the spinothalamic tract. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please help us produce more by making a donation at www.handwrittentutorials.com.